Gotta give you an update. I know that Big Pun Fat Joe Twins was suggested, and I was gonna throw that underneath the category of uh, does it hold up? Unfortunately, it was copyright blocked worldwide. Well, no shit. So, that's not going to be going up. It's just not worth it trying to fight them to get it put up, especially since it was just a reaction. But I'll give you my I'll give you my thoughts on it. That's a nice muscle throwing on you got there. You know <laughs> That's definitely not it. So, listen. I'm going to be completely honest because that's the way that we do things here. Of course! So, it's not the best song. And here's what I mean by that. In Pun's catalog, it's not even close to the best song that he made. In my opinion. I'm not saying that the song is bad because it's not bad. There's a lot of good things that are in that song. Like, just for example, you know, making references to Snoop, using the Dre beat, at least I'm pretty sure it was a Dre beat. Um, the back and forth, the way Red Man and Method Man used to do it, and probably still do it. Uh, you know, Shit like that. The word playing was really good. Some of Joe's... Some of Joe's stuff was a little bit simple. But, I mean, you know, the, that's gonna happen. Especially because of the time that it came out. So, you know, you're not really looking at something... The way that it is... I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can word it, what I'm trying to say. When it came out, that was probably one of the biggest things for a lot of people because you'd never heard anything like that. I can say even for me when I heard that, even back then, it was the beat is a little much for me in the sense that the bass line is extremely strong. But, I mean, outside of that, it's good, but it's definitely not one of the best. So, we'll leave that there. Does it hold up? I mean, just at a principle for its time, I would say that parts of it definitely has the ability to hold its own. While other parts don't seem to really hit as hard as... They did then, but again, I think it's all about timing. I know some of you guys are thinking... Bullshit, man! That thing is awesome. That track is the best. Look, it's good, but... Here's my counter-argument. Compared to the rest of... Even if we just take Capital Punishment by itself. Even if we just take it by itself putting that song up against the rest of it, it pales in comparison. For me personally, the wordplay is great, but we already know that Pun was great with doing that kind of shit. I mean, you would just... You put that album on, man, and you listen to some of the songs, the way that they were structured, and the things that he would say, and just say, Damn! Oh, uh, no, that was a fail. That was definitely a fail. But that's alright. We'll leave it in. That's the way that we're going to do it. So, you know, I mean, it's like his pen was possessed. It's ridiculous. I mean, before that, I don't... I think you could probably say it's a fair assessment to say that he... He made that style that people like Diabolic and I would even argue K Reno uses. I don't know who came first 
for me, obviously, it was pun, but I'm sure he did influence a lot of rappers. I know Vinny Paz, Jedi Mind Tricks being one of them. You know, he was a real big influence back then, and I think that is awesome that he was able to do that. Was he thinking about that back then? Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Either way, that's the way that I feel about it. So, whether you think it was okay, or if you think Perfect. it was... That definitely wasn't. Let's do it again. If you think it was... Perfect. That's a little bit better. Right? That's alright. These things take time. You're not going to get it on the mark 100% all the time, every time. Plus, what fun would that be? If it was all clean cut and everything was great 100% of the time. I like it to be a little bit raw. Just so that you can see, like, look, I'm just a regular, just a regular dude doing regular shit. You know? Simple as that. But, you know, it was okay. Do I put it in... I don't even put it in my top 10 pun songs. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Now, we can argue about certain parts of the song, but... I'm going to, in my own time, I'll go and I'll kick both of the albums, Capital Punishment and Yeah Baby, and, you know, really do a little mental note for myself to see how they stack up, but it's definitely not even in the top 10. Even if we go off some of the remixes of Endangered Species, or even we can go back to the first Rough Riders album. And I know, I know I'm taking it back. Some of you guys are like, Oh my gosh. I don't even know what the hell you just said. What the hell is a Rough Rider? I have no idea. Look, that's okay. It was a off thing. It was something that was big. When DMX was big, he made this empire, we'll call it. Rough Riders, he had, it was him. It was the locks. He had Jay Z in there at one point. Um, Eve, she's nasty, dude. Uh, who else was in there? Dragon was in there. Juvenile was in there. There's a lot of a lot of rappers. So it was almost like it was like Death Row Records, except for the East Coast. I want to say, I think that would be a fair assessment to say in certain parts, you know, because it wasn't, it was a continuation in a way of what Bad Boy was trying to do in the early 90s, except it was different just because you didn't have people talking all over the track, I mean, you knew the stars were, but it seemed like everybody shared the limelight equally, in my opinion, but it's another album that I have to go back and listen to again, but I really, I love that shit coming up, man, but that's because DMX was great, so were the locks, those are, you know, my two, like, when Sheik Luch did the song with Pun, that blew my mind, that they would even be able to get on a track together, I didn't understand back then, the way that everything worked, that that's how you could do it, but, Either way, those are my thoughts on it. So, since we can't put up the video, I'll put this up instead where the video was supposed to be. And we'll leave it at that. Check out the other content on the channel. Dig through the metaphorical crates. There's always new content that is being worked on. Right now, there's a podcast in the works. Sorry, that's going to possibly be coming up soon. I do live streams. I got the reactions. We've got a bunch of different stuff happening. But there's always new things. We could be adding new stuff. I'm figuring out what I'm going to do as we go along. So I've been said that. I will leave this video here and I will catch you on the next one.